veteran ranger Tommy Nichols and his crew are on Salty Watch. With them is croc scientist Dr. Adam Britton. They're patrolling Darwin Harbor near the Northern Territory's main city. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PUBG, the first time I'm playing PUBG in weeks. It, well, let me tell you this way. The first time I'm playing a full stream of PUBG in weeks, I have actually played this game uh, a few times as like a filler when I finished up uh, streams early or whatever, or I finished up a game on stream early, I would stick this in. But I haven't played a full session of it in quite a while. Shout out to Par Parzival Dave, who said 150 bit cheer. He said, good luck in the match tonight. Random question, what is the first video game you ever owned? The first video game I ever owned was Pong. Pong for the TV, meaning it wasn't on a console at all. It was actually the original Pong console with two paddles. It was only the one game. And you would plug it into your TV via the, you know, like the uh, coax, coaxial cable connection. Um, and apparently today it's a collector's item. Although back when I got it, I don't know if it was. I think it was actually quite common. Oh, fuck. I think it was actually quite common back then. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You Gucci piece of shit. You fucking... Pick up the ammo. Pick up this goddamn ammo now. What the fuck? Stupid game. Oh, a headshot with a DP-28. <laughs> what the fuck is the DP-28? I don't even know what that is. I, I, I honestly don't even know what the DP-28 is. I've never even... What is that? I've never seen it before in this game. And I've been playing this game since it launched in December on Xbox One. What is the DP-28? <laughs> I have no idea. What was that? <clears throat> Big Fat Wobbly Bunchy says it's a new weapon. When is that in the game? Oh, it's that stupid thing. Oh, it's that stupid gun with the can, the circular can on it. All right, I know what that is. Anyway, that was completely stupid. I would have killed the guy if the fucking spawned on my fucking screen, but it didn't. Um, the Archangel just tipped me a dollar fifty. He said, "Phil, dropping by to show some love. Excited for Far Cry tomorrow. Currently watching South Park. Cheers. Thank you, Archangel, for the tip." Bob and Jay cheered. said, "Would you ever consider playing classic games from the SNES and Genesis era?" I have. I have in the past, and I would love to do that. Those are the games from my youth, man. But the problem is, a lot of people don't like to see the old stuff. The, when I did play games from that era, okay. Oops, I fucked that up. Uh, not many people tuned in. In fact, the only game I think I ever played from the retro era that got good views was Super Mario World. I think that was it. Like, everything else that I played, um, oh, this game's old, this game's outdated. Why is he playing this old game? Why is he playing new games? That's kind of the, 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 sadly, the kind of real, just ignorant, kind of almost spoiled brat attitude that, in particular at least, um, YouTubers and YouTube viewers had years ago when I tried to actually play classic games on YouTube. Now, the difference is now, I don't really do videos for YouTube viewers anymore. I don't. I'm doing stuff for you guys on stream. Can't make the day streams due to work. Yes. Nino Cooney, starting Wednesday, is the late night stream. It's going to be pretty consistent, too. Maybe once a week I'll do some PUBG or something different. But for the most part, it's going to be the late night stream moving forward. Uh, since, you know, I got Far Cry now to play and other stuff during the daytime streams. Uh, Mizern did a 200 bit cheese. Those glasses are like the pan. They give you a 2% chance to survive a headshot. They do? I didn't know that. I got to start putting them on then. Mr. Swaggins cheers. Said, Would you rather go back in time and do things differently or see the future? And then, I Wait. Would you rather go back in time and do things differently or see the future and have time to change it? See, here's the thing. That's a good question because if you... Oh, I want to go back in time and change things I did wrong. But you don't know what would have happened if you did something differently, right? Let's say I go back in time and I decided earlier than now to become a full-time streamer. Let's say that 2015, I decided I was going to be a full-time streamer on Twitch. And I was going to try to integrate with that rather than, than waiting until 2017 like I did. So now I have to, sadly, I have to hoof it across here. And then I'm just going to try to camp out in the mountains, I think. If I can get up to those mountains, I'm just going to chill. What the hell? Did you see that glitch? There's a weird graphical glitch right there in the water. Wow, BFL Griffin asked me, how large was the largest poop you ever had? When I was a child, I had a mentally challenged blind cousin that was morbidly obese, and one day she pooped out 
The shit was so large, the shit alone clogged the toilet. Resembled a loaf of bread they give you an Outback Steakhouse. I've never made a l wide or huge, ginormous turd, but I've made super long ones. So there you go. But I never pulled them out of the toilet to measure, so I can't answer the question, uh, technically. Uh, Miser did, uh, did a 200 bit choose. Says, you sure this is any Tony Hawk Pro Skater Street with those kind of physics? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit! You cocksucker! You ass munching piece of garbage! <laughs> what the hell is the M2... What is that? The M249? It's another gun I don't even recognize the name of. What is that? What is the M249? I don't even know. I don't know what gun that is, or where he was shooting me from. No idea. <laughs> oh, people are saying it's the Super Sniper. So apparently he must have got it from an aerial drop. Great. Mr. Swaggins cheered and said, have you ever stolen something? Oh, I'm sure I have. What? I couldn't tell you. I'm sure probably when I was in school, I'd stole someone off something, someone's desk, or... You know, I'm sure at some point in my life I've stolen something, but I've never stolen anything significant. <clears throat> All right. BFL Griffin Chew said, you stole my heart, Phil. <laughs> oh, there you go. Delancey said he had had a heart attack and he was a goner. I experienced the multiverse and saw everything there was, will, and could be. It's impossible to describe using something restricted as language. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> J-Game asked me, was I a fan of ECW? Well, I didn't even know ECW existed back then. I was only made aware of ECW's existence when WWE bought them out. Um, what the fuck? Oh no! Oh, I'm stuck in the wall! I'm stuck in the goddamn wall! Oh, come on. <laughs> what is this? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I can't see. It's disgusting. It's hideous. No. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Come on. Whoa, what the? I can't. I can't get out. What the fuck? I'm outside the white line. This sucks. I can't get out. This game is a piece of fucking duty. Can't get out. Come on, put your way out. But I could, sh but I could open the door. Hold on. I could open the door backward. The be the back. Have you ever stood behind someone's eyeballs before? Well, now you have, ladies and gentlemen. See, look at the behind of this gentleman's eyeballs. It's great. Can't jump. Can't crouch. Can't crawl. I think I'm done. I don't have a grenade. Sir Noble says throw a grenade. I don't have one.
Someone could save me. Someone could pull me out of this wall. <clears throat> Bent Boxer just exit the game. But don't you know, Bent Boxer, if I exit the game, then detractors will make a video that Phil rage quit PUBG. He didn't play the game to completion. He rage quit PUBG. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> you know, the game's been out since December. They still haven't fixed that shit. But instead, they do little little superficial tweaks to the game to pretend like they're actually improving it when in reality they haven't done a damn fucking thing. <clears throat> um, Aaron PC cheered and said, What's the best story you've ever experienced in a video game? I don't know, there have been a lot of good ones. Mass Effect 1's and 2 stories were really good. Uh, Bioshock's 1's story was incredibly good. <clears throat> um, hmm. Best story, you know, Final Fantasy 4 and 6, really, really good. Uh, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, amazing stories. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, what are the games with the most epic stories ever? Hmm. The Last of Us was good. Yes, I agree, Mr. Swaggins. Last of Us was good. Absolutely. Big Fat Wobbly Butchie says, Halo 3 ODST, I should slap you right through the internet for saying that. <laughs> I seriously should. Anyway, I was I have to update this because I screwed up. Sky actually did a 501 bitch here. I would not be giving him his proper credit, and that's not right. Here we go. Okay. Alright. Another match. Hopefully this time I don't fuse to the fucking wall. Uh. I think still, I still think the best moment ever in this game was when I landed on the tractor, and the impact of the tractor on my testicles killed me instantly. That was the best. That was the best stupid glitch in this game ever. I loved it. Shout out to Super Bat Cat for a 13 month resub. Thank you, Super Bat Cat, for the resub. I appreciate that, man. 13 months of support. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. Ugh. Preflitzo says your PC ain't bad. Why not play on it? Lower the settings if you need to be. It's not a fact that my, my PC cannot play games. That's not the problem. The problem is my PC cannot play games while also capturing and streaming them at the same time. What you guys don't realize is that uh, I record for YouTube while I stream at completely different qualities. Because YouTube has unlimited. You can record at whatever quality you want. While Twitch has very strict. It can only go up to six, uh, 60, 6K. I think it's 6,000 uh, kilobits per second. While for YouTube, I record at like nine 9K. Um, so yeah, I because I'm encoding at two different qualities at once while I'm also playing a game, my PC basically locks up and runs like shit. For most games. Um, you know, some exceptions would be Doki Doki Literature Club. That was not a graphically intensive game. Um, <clears throat> that's the problem. Now, if I had a, a one PC just to capture and stream. And another PC to run the game. Then I'd be fine. And in fact, it was funny. Most people don't realize this. But most people who do this for a living. Don't really have the know-how. To order custom order parts. Or build it myself. What I'm going to do is get a pre-built one. What should I What should I get? And people posted up on my forums and pulled all their information together. And I literally bought exactly what I was told I would probably need to do everything that I wanted to do. I buy the PC. It ends up being almost $3,000. I buy this fucking PC. I get it. It cannot capture, stream, and play high-end games at the same time, which is what I wanted to do. Which people told me it would with the stats that they told me to buy. And then everyone yells at me, oh, you bought a lemon. You did it. I'm like, wait a minute. I did what I was told. Like, a, literally, it was like 20 people who apparently knew what they were talking about about PCs went on my forums and all collectively got together, supposedly, all right, and said, this is what you should do, and that's why I got what I got, all right? Then, 
all I hear is, oh, you see, Phil, you're an idiot. You should have just bought the parts and built it yourself. I'm like, dude, you don't seem to understand that the issue here was not that another company bought, built the PC for me. It wasn't the cost of the PC that's the issue. The issue is that the PC that I bought cannot do what I want to do with it based off of the specs that I was, you know, told this is what you need, you know? And I, it's not like I, I, I bought low-end shit. I bought top-of-the-line stuff, at least in most cases. I didn't buy a low-end video card. I at least bought a middle-of-the-road one. You know, I bought a ton of RAM for the fucking thing. You know, I, I did what people told me to do, and it doesn't do what I wanted it to do, even though I told everyone up front what it was going to be for and everything, you know? But it's for me, it's my fault. Because I didn't custom order the right parts and build the PC myself. I'm an idiot and I've ordered a lemon. It's like, you guys are fucking assholes. Seriously. That whole community of people who are like that. A bunch of fucking dicks. <clears throat> what the fuck was that? <clears throat> and nothing I can do. Because I got two guns with no skill. <laughs> There's nothing I can do at all. They're all good, you know... Mid to long range, he probably got me with a good scope and just fucked me up. Nothing I could do at all. So all that work for absolutely nothing. There's nothing I could do. <clears throat> Ugh, this game's terrible. You're right, Mr. I was literally a sitting duck. There was nothing I could... I had to move, because if I didn't move, I would have got killed by the blue wall. And there was no cover to be had. And I didn't have a scope, so I couldn't get a beat on anyone. I was fucked. <laughs> Completely fucked. <sighs> Alright. Thank you, Dillian, for a 100-bit cheer. There is no way. People say you should have went to a house. I couldn't. If I'd gone to a house, I would have died. There were people in the house. There were people leaving the houses. We were all running towards the blue circle. Without having a, a, an actual weapon that could be effective in that situation, there was no way to survive it. None. I just had to get lucky. And I had two guys. There was the guy to the building to the right, and there was another guy who saw me who was shooting at me and who eventually killed me. Both of which probably had good mid-range weapons. So, I had no choices. Oh my god, what? <laughs> of course. No time to loot. I got completely gypped. They had all level 3 shit too I was putting on too. What the fuck? That would have been a good chance. Because I would have had a vehicle and I would have been in good position. But of course another fucking guy shows up. God, this game sucks. <clears throat> Alright, well. It is what it is. The game's terrible. Well, thanks, guys, for a fun session of garbage gameplay of this terrible game. Will they ever make it better on Xbox One? I honestly have no confidence they will. That's why I don't play it a lot. So the next time I play this game will actually be probably in, in over a week. Like I said, I'm going to do a special event for my birthday. It's either going to be like the day before my birthday or on my birthday. Um, and it's going to be me playing Ultra Street Fighter 2 during the early time during the day, like my first stream, and then this at night in an effort... To try to help with my taxes in April. Alright. So it's probably going to be April 5th. April 6th. Alright. So I'll let you know for sure. Uh, uh, once I finally do get uh, Kat's work schedule for next week. And we'll go from there. But for tonight guys. Seriously. Thank you guys very much for your support. It was a very very supportive stream. You guys cheered, sub, tipped. Everything was great. Two thumbs up for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching. 
Uh, and again, reminder tomorrow you, on YouTube. Well, these are gonna, I'm going to upload these videos to YouTube right now. Tomorrow on stream, Far Cry 5 premiering in the morning. And then Batman concluding in the evening. So it should be a fun, full fu uh, session of new games for you tomorrow. That's it, everyone. Peace out. Have a good evening. And I will see you tomorrow for Far Cry 5. Thanks. Plus specimen, get that ass banned.